Well, uh, today was a mass cow exercise. It's where the most lives can be saved, I think. So it requires every uh, all hands on deck and then some. It requires that 110%. Uh, mass casualty situation uh, would basically be described as having more patients than the beds available. So, for example, we operate with four beds. So the five patients would be considered a mass cow at that point, simply because that one patient that's left out is having to be treated by a secondary medic and is still waiting to get into the tent to be fully treated. I think it's a good training for the soldiers. Uh, they actually, you know, it's hard. So the soldiers learn how to carry the patients in this type of environment. And they can, it's very similar to uh, like Afghanistan, Iraq, because we have this type of right uh, temperatures and cats. You know, originally what happens is during our training, uh, they kind of make it as chaotic as possible. So when you finally get to this level, you're really not dealing with or concerning yourself with what's going on around you outside of your bed. Um, you kind of zone in. You focus on what's going on on your bed, on that patient, and your buddies at the table with you. So it actually kind of melts into the background. This is where you get to make your mistakes. I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. This is where you get to make, get all of your information. So getting those mistakes out of the way now makes you feel much more comfortable for when the actual situation occurs. It really kind of helps secure your belief in yourself. Um, these little bit of training exercises, you get to experience it real time, as real life as you can get before entering combat situations. Um, so because of that, you really start to learn to trust yourself, to trust your instincts, to trust your capabilities. Um, and that's what really motivates me. It makes me realize that I've got this. I've got my battle buddies. Well, uh, first we get our uh, call about the uh, casualties and they'll be on uh, various places on the FOB. Uh, then we have our uh, tracks and our FLAs, you know, just our different types of ambulances. Go out and pick them up. Uh, get them on the stretchers and then they come in right here in front of the treatment tent where we pull them out, get them triaged in order to, uh, in order of how serious their injuries are and then, uh, then we send them in to get treated. Uh, once they've been fully treated and they're ready to go to the next echelon of care, a little more advanced place, then we get them back into a vehicle and we bring them straight to that place or if it would be more expedient, we take them to something like the chopper. Uh, once in the chopper, then they get Aravac to, uh, to the next echelon of care. Train as you fight, because if you do that, when the actual situation comes your way, you'll be well, well prepared.